Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Guys, today I'm coming to you with a very re requested video. And that is on this beauty right here. This is the Brahmin Margot. Y'all, this bag is so pretty. I showed it in my Brahmin collection. And I just want you to get a good look at the color. The color is Pink Cosmo. Y'all, it is so pretty. So this is the front okay and this is the side view I love the pleats right here this is the back that eye right there and it does have this back pocket right here that you can slide your um, phone in my iPhone 14 Pro does fit here is a side view and there is this beautiful charm that my twin Carmen Hawkins made but y'all let me tell you something I'm so upset my twin made me a charm just for this bag, y'all, and I can't find it. I'm so upset with myself. I do that a lot during the season of my life. I put stuff somewhere and forget where it is. That's why I try to always put things where they go. Why I did not put that charm in its little net bag, I don't know. But I can't find it. So this is another one that she made me in the same colors. But this one is in honor of my baby, Jayla. So, I thought it was special since I am coming up. Um, this week is the year anniversary of her death. I said, okay, I'll put this one on here. But if you look at it up close, she has breast cancer ribbons on it. You have the hot pink, the whites, the golds. And clear, she knows that both of us love butterflies. And so, she put butterflies on there as well. And then, my baby did not have breast cancer, but she wanted to be a breast cancer doctor. And so she has this breast cancer ribbon right here, which is super pretty. This charm is so pretty. If you notice on the charms that they have, like that one has hope. Can y'all see that? It is so pretty. They, it's just beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So the one that she made me for this bag was the same colors, but y'all, it had an elephant right here. And I think I've showed it before on my page. I keep saying page, y'all. My channel. I think I've shown it before on my channel. It had an elephant right here. If I don't find that, I declare my twin gonna have to make me another one. Okay, so here is the strap. And so it's a thin strap, y'all. And it's made out of the crock and boss leather, genuine crock and boss leather. Okay. This bag is beautiful, y'all. It is so pretty. My only con is I wish it had a top handle so that when you pick it up, you can grab it by the handle instead of grabbing it by the bag or taking the shoulder straps like this to pick it up. Okay? So the measurements of this beauty is it's eight and a half inches tall, y'all. It's nine and a half inches across. And the butt of it, the depth is four and a half inches. Now, I have the Pochette Matisse by Louis Vuitton. This baby right here holds just as much as that and more. Okay? So let me show you. You have your gold hardware here that has Brahmin. Okay? You have gold hardware here that has Brahmin. Brahmin is just exceptional in their details. On the strap, it is adjustable. It's a 25 inch strap. But you can tell the, the holes are still going. So you can adjust this from shoulder to crossbody. For me, on the shortest length for shoulder is a little long. It comes about to my waist. But the crossbody is perfect, which is how I wear it every time I wear it. So what I did for you all is I have this packed. Two capacities so you can see how much it carries. I actually have more in here right now than I normally carry. Okay? So, let's jump in. Y'all know, what y'all know, what you what you know? I got my little pretty iPod case, sure do. Mm-hmm. Love it. Amazon purchase, okay? So, to get into the Margot, you just simply push here. You see that? And it just pops up. Now, let me show you an overview so you can see how wide it opens. Y'all see that? That is, you see? It's so, it holds so much. Okay, so let's jump in. Let me see. Looks like I'm going to have to, maybe I need to turn it this way so that flap won't bother you. Do it like that. Can y'all see that? So we'll start, I guess I'm going to start right here, okay? So I can bring this out last. So this bag has a section here. There's a zipper 
right here. This pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. Nothing can slip underneath it. And then you have this front section. You do have a pocket here and you have a zip pocket back here. You also have a pen holder as well. Okay. So right here on this side, I have it packed because we're going on a trip and I wanted to see if I could carry it for the trip. So I have just the regular Germex hand antibacteria in here. Um, I have my wipes in here. I don't travel without Clorox wipes and antibacterial wipes. Normally though, this would be in my backpack if I didn't have it in my bag with the Clorox wipes. Can y'all see? And I also have my fan in here. Okay. I also have my Dooney and Burt corn pouch in the hydrangea, the cream. And y'all, in here, let me show you what I'm using it for. I have candy. Now this can be used for your keys, which is what I normally use it for. There is a key ring in there. Um, I did have those single Pharrell wipes in here because I thought, well, I'll put them in here, but I decided to carry the bottle instead. So I just have candy in there. And y'all, on the slip, and this one has a zipper pocket here. Okay? I don't have anything in here. But you see, it does open wide so you can get, you know, whatever you want to put in here. However, on the slip on the back, I have four pieces of chewing gum right there for my husband and I to chew when the plane takes off. All right? Can y'all see? So that will bring me to this. And y'all seen this pouch before. This is my catch-all. Okay? And so in here, I, everything that I normally carry, y'all, can y'all see? It's packed to the top. I wanted to show you what it carries. So you see I have my Neosporin in here. Okay. My inhaler is right here. Let me move it so you can see the rest of the stuff. Well, you can see it from here. I have my cuticle cutter right here. Y'all know my pouch. Ooh, ooh. My pills just fell out. I have that in there. There are my soap sheets. Y'all know my two pouches. This one has contact lens in it. Um, extra nose rings, um, what else is in here, eyeglass wipes is in here, and extra meds, and then y'all know this pouch is my female pouch, I have some feminine wipes, some panty liners, and what else in here, panty liners, feminine wipes, and, oh, Q-tips is right there, okay, let me move this inhaler, and down there in the bottom, you see I have my on-the-go jewelry cleaner, and that's everything in here, Okay, now the inhaler is taking up quite a bit of space in here, so I'm going to change, I just changed it actually. <laughs> so you can tell now I have all this room on the top because I put the Neosporin under the inhaler. But this is my catch-all, right there. Alright, and then I had just on the side, I had my Whippet stain remover stick, you know when you're traveling and whatnot or out and about you get some stains on you want to get it off I have my eye white eye walk portable charger I have my citrine stone all of that is in this back section y'all right here okay here is the zipper inside the zipper I have eyeglass wipes and y'all I got these from Target I like them better than the Walmart kind so I'm gonna start using these I really like them and then, you know, I have my pouch that's housing my lock, Jayla's lock, and a press stone. I have just the J charm in here this time. Okay. And then I have my safety tool in here. And I have the care package, the care little envelope in there. And then I have the tag for the bag. Okay. Can I see that? I hope that's clear. All right, and that's everything that was in the zipper pocket. I'm just going to slide that stuff back in. Y'all know I have been on in that DB75 drawstring. Mercy. I made it y'all two weeks, but I'm getting ready to travel. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do until time to go. All right, so that is it for this. Now you see there's a middle section right here, this little zipper pocket. Y'all, in here, I have my check registers, three of them, okay? And I have my dashboard that just, just when Espy made me of my daughter. 
And on the back, I love how she put this stuff. She tell, It's like encouragement. One day at a time. Where flowers bloom. You know, can you see that? Where flowers bloom, so does hope. You see that? Grace upon grace and faith is what it says. And because I don't have my notebook in here, I wanted this dashboard in here. So I put it in here. Okay. I have my brush. My fingernail brush. In case I need to clean my nails. I have my cleaners for my eyelash extensions. They have my cleaners and the spoolies. Just in a little ziplock. And that is it for that pocket, y'all. I'm going to put that stuff back. Okay. Alright, so we're going to move to this front section right here. Wait a minute, y'all. Okay. Can y'all see that? So this is the front section. And in here, I have my sunglasses in here. I don't normally have these in here. They're normally in my car. And I just have my Gucci um, shades in here. Okay. And these are normally in my car. But I wanted you to see how much it would hold. Okay. I am using the Hot Pink Mesh Pouch as my makeup pouch. Can y'all see that? So you see my chapsticks there. My shea butter in this here. You see my NYX lip gloss. Bathroom spray is in there. My fingernail clipper. I have some MAC lipstick right there. I think this is um, Velvet Teddy. It is. I have some oil blotting sheets right here. Behind there you can see my MAC cork lip liner. And then there's that Maybelline lip liner that I always carry right there. You can see I have two sticks of glue right there. And the fingernail clipper I think I already said. And then at the very top you can see my tweezers are right there. And so I have all of that in this pouch. I love this see through so you don't have to take everything out. You see how clear you see everything in here? And these pouches are in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. Okay. Then I have this little cutie right here, which is called the Brit in the Pink Cosmo. And y'all, I'm using this as my wallet. It comes with this very nice heart, this, this little um, hook right here. Y'all, look how thick it is. It is so pretty. Very nice, substantial. Look at the zipper pull. Brahma is, I'm telling you, nice hardware. This is what it looks like on the back. And this is how thick it is. Plenty of room in here. And I'm simply using it as a wallet. So you see I have my cash fold right there. And all of my cards are right there. And I can throw change in the bottom. Look at the space. Plenty of space to put whatever. You can actually throw a chapstick in there if you wanted to. You can throw some things in there. Let me just take out a... Let me see. Hold on a second. Let's do this. Let's play a little bit. I'm going to take my chapstick out so you can see I have that old school chapstick. And you could just drop it down in there. And y'all, look, you still have room if you wanted to put something else in there, right there in that space. This is so cute. They did not have this on the Brahmin website. I actually found this on um, Macari, I believe. Okay. All right. Still going, y'all. Still going. So down here I also have my Gingham Gorgeous hand cream. And then I have my keys in here, just loose. Now you see there's a pocket here. Let me turn this way. Y'all see it's a pocket right here. In here I have this beautiful mirror. Y'all, I found this at the beauty supply store. Look how pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Y'all, that's so cute. It was at my beauty supply store and it's a double sided mirror so you have the magnifying part up here and the regular down here. So cute. Y'all see the bling on there? Oh my god, so cute. Okay, and then I have my gift cards in here. In this little sheen pouch I have um, my gift cards. And I have a pen and the pen holder right there. Okay. Y'all, that is it. You see how much this bag holds? Crazy. And it does not feel heavy. Now, the bag is stiff. I guess it'll get softer over time. You know, Brahmin leather takes, will get soft over time. And I did share with you all in my collection video that the only one that came soft is the Duxbury. 
But this is what I have in my baby. And I hope y'all can see all that. Look how pretty that is. Let me see. Let me do it like this. So pretty, right? It just makes you happy when you look at that. Like, to me, that's just happiness right there. Y'all see that? Oh, my God. And then I put my little airport case right there. I got my mirror. Got let, me, let, me, let me put it right there. Look at that. What? Y'all, look. Put my perfume right there. Put my fan right there. I just want you to see how much was in here. My wife was in here as well. And then I had my gift cards. I'm just going to sit them. I'll lay them like right there. I just really want you to see everything that was in there. There you go. That is everything that was in my Margot. Let me move this a little bit so you can see. Can y'all see that? That is a lot. Okay. Oh, oh sorry, y'all. Sorry. Rough with the tripod. But I hope that helps you at least know the capacity that it can hold. It's a beautiful bag. And y'all, I went on the website this morning. And y'all, they have a beautiful blue it's like a navy blue but because my tote is in that midnight melbourne i'm not gonna get it because it's kind of close to that color but it's so pretty oh it's so pretty but there you have it y'all so let me do this too let's just see something so i have my sunglasses in there that i don't normally carry so let's put the catch all back because i do carry that let's put the makeup back because i do carry that I do need the Brit, which is my wallet for this carry. Okay. Um, let's put the candy back. And let's put my lotion back. Y'all see this? Um, we need the hand sanitizer. I could have put that in one of the, you know, the little holders on the back of the bag. I just chose not to. Let's just slide this, you know. I make a mess. Let's slide that in there. Let's put my mirror back and I don't know if I really need my gift cards, but shoot. I'm going to put my portable battery back. And we'll drop that over here this time around. So I just want y'all to see. See? And y'all, this expands. So let me show you the expansion of it. Look how much it expands. Now granted, you're going to have to be able to put, you know, push it together because it pleats at the top in order to close it. But y'all, that's my typical carry. Oh, let me put my citrine stone in here. Y'all know. And I'm going to drop it in this little hole over here. There's nothing there in front of the wallet. I'll put that there. I'll drop my keys down there as well. Shoot, I done put everything in here. I'm going to put my iPods in here. And there you go. No problem closing at all. Y'all, she holds a lot. I don't know. I should have brought my Pochette Matisse out to see if it would hold the same amount of items. I don't think so, but it might. So maybe um, I'll do that in the future. Um, do a comparison of the what it can hold. But there it is. And so I didn't put in the wipes. I didn't put in my gift cards. I didn't put in my fan when I repacked it. And I didn't put in my sunglasses. So those are the items I left out. This is like my typical carry. My sunglasses are always in my vehicle. Okay. And normally I'll have a backpack. And in my backpack I'll have wipes. These antibacterial wipes and Clorox wipes in there. And then I usually have my neck fan. Which is in the backpack as well. But I also had that in there. So yeah. This is how it looks. Now I also have this other charm that I showed in my short. This is a charm that, you know, I made. I showed it several times where I added this butterfly to this. This also looks very cute on this bag as well. If you didn't want to hear the clacking of the beads up against the fabric, I could do that as well. And it's cute. Y'all, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm telling you, if they had put a handle right here, they would have knocked it completely out of the park. Okay? That is Miss Margot. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and until the next time, be blessed.